Okay, today we are going to be setting up a posterous. Um, there's one small problem. Where do I sign in? Where's the long form? Where do I put all this stuff? No, no, no. They're very clever lads there at Posterous. All you have to do to set up is set a, send an email to post at posterous.com. Now, you can either use your own email at the start, or if you really want to, you can set up a Gmail, a special Gmail account just for your particular niche. I never bother at the start because I can always change it later. Um, but for this one, because we're going to do a challenge thing, I'm going to use the challenge help. So, funnily enough, I'm just going to go and grab uh, post at posterous.com. And we're going to just go over to my Gmail. There we go. So I'm going to send that. And look at this, here we are. So here we are, look at this. Reply above this line to create a new process. Your email has been posted, welcome. And that's it, you're done. And you, all you need to do is literally go through and read this and then click to set a password for the site. Um, it really is quite incredible. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna choose a name, we're gonna call it and we'll fill in a password and hit sign up. Now you've got a, a profile here, so it's um, Ed or Dale. Nickname Challenge 2010. You can add a photo. I like adding a photo. I think it's a it's a great uh, a great idea. You can put some HTML OK there. You might notice. Now, look what I've copied here. This is a little bit of code, and I'm sorry, please don't let it terrify you. Just copy it out the same. Now, you can see here where I put yourdomain.com, you would put your current domain, the domain that you're promoting in the challenge. And then your anchor text link would be your anchor text. So for me, if I'm targeting the keyword challenge, .co, and I would put here, the challenge. Done. So it's not too hard. It's just a little bit of little bit of code which puts in our HTML. Now I would skip all of this. We don't need to invite friends or anything like that. So that's it. We're done. Now you can see here we've got one unconfirmed email, so we need to confirm the email. And the important thing here is to make sure we confirm the email address because remember how I showed you in the previous video how you can use an email to update your site? Well, this is the way you do it. So I'm just going to go in to uh, my site and do that. Um, you, you just need to go back to your Gmail to do that. So. Here we are, here's our confirmation. So we just click to confirm the email address. And there we are, it's confirmed, which is fantastic. You can do things like set up mobiles, you can set up notification settings when you email a new post. Uh, you can set all of these things up. Now let's go and have a look at it. There we go, which is fantastic. And look at that. There we've got the little challenge there, which is fantastic. And then, you know, we can have a look at the challenge 2010 profile, which has got a, a link. We can add a photo so we can edit the profile. So you can certainly go and edit your profile and add it in. But the key thing is to do that little trick with the, the link so that we've got a link in our profile, which is great because that's a backlink, uh, which is which is marvelous. OK, finally, I just want to show you this manage link and then we want to do set up our first auto post and of course where's our first auto post going to do it's going to go to our WordPress blog okay so we're going to click auto post so there's the the and we want to go and again there's lots of stuff here but we want to add in a new service so we click on that click add a service and of course, what we're looking for is WordPress, because that's what we've been setting up. And it's so easy. All you have to do 
is type in the web address. This is the web address of the challenge. Uh, you need a username and password. I'm going to not show you this <laughs> for very obvious reasons, um, but uh, you just put in your username and password of your blog and press link. Look at that, already done. There we have, so it's already done. So we've got a service where if we now uh, send an email, for example, I might do, just do one now. Let's just show you this so we can show you that it's all complete. So let's uh, send a new mail. We'll compose a mail. So there we are, just uh, done a little post here. Yeah. All right, so we've just done our first post here and all we have to do is hit the good old send button. There we are. Woohoo, this is our first post to Posterous. Fantastic, and it sends you an email, which is really nice. And we can click, here's our new post, so we'll, let's have a look. This is our first post to Posterous with a guest post on the challenge blog. There we are. And of course, check this out. If we go over, over to our blog, da da da. How easy is that? A very, very simple way to post, and I could have added pictures, I could have done all sorts of things with that, and we'll show you that as we get more advanced. So next we're going to bring up another service for you and show you how to integrate that into your Posterous.